what is Hawking radiation? What is yeah. heat death? How will the universe end? What role does do black holes play in that? Well, um, let's start with the Hawking radiation. So, I mean, this was a uh, very, another curveball, unanticipated discovery. Here I've been telling you the event horizon is so um, unforgiving. I never know what's on going on in the interior of a black hole. The interior might not even exist. All that matters is the event horizon. Um, Hawking realized that if I do consider uh, the vacuum of empty space, and I imagine in the vacuum of empty space, according to the principles of quantum mechanics, that particles can kind of be created and annihilate, and they kind of can come into existence and disappear out of existence as kind of frothing soup that I don't notice at my big, clumsy, macroscopic scale. It sort of seems empty to me, except for where there's air, you know. Um, the black hole can notice that. So black hole, because of this one way, window of the event horizon, when a quantum pair is created and it wants to very quickly annihilate away, uh, it can steal one of the pairs. And uh, so let's say I make a particle and an antiparticle and the black, the event horizon, the, anti, the particle is created, let's say just inside, just epsilon, tiny bit inside the event horizon and the antiparticles just outside the event horizon. Now they're separated. They can't go back to the vacuum anymore because they don't have the properties, they're separated, I can't neutralize this antiparticle and give it the property of nothingness of the vacuum. So it's stuck, it exists now, it's in reality. It, that sounds crazy, <laughs> but it's a very solid result. Nobody disputes Hawking's calculation. What happens is the black hole actually gets lighter in the process and the particle on the outside escapes away as radiation. So the reason why it's worth going into that story and not just saying, oh, the black hole radiates and evaporates away, is because that makes it sound like stuff's coming from the inside. It's imperative to understand that the material is stolen from nothingness of the vacuum. It is not originating from the stuff that fell in, the star, let's say, that formed it. Um, and that's really tricky, because now the black hole's evaporating away, but nothing came, made it out of the event horizon, and that seems like a very terrible conflict and it ushered in this famous information loss paradox that drove Lenny crazy, that made him think about holography and duality and complementarity and made Juan Maldacena think about this. Now, however complicated the story is because we don't have uh, that much time left, I can say the reason why Juan Maldacena's result was so important for the black hole information loss paradox. Um, so, so here's the problem. Quantum mechanics does not want any information to disappear from the universe that's nonsensical. Quantum mechanics is rigidly built to forbid such things. Information is conserved. So whatever went into the black hole, once the event horizon's yanked up, it better be there or have come out. It can't just have fallen out of the universe. And, uh, and the Hawking radiation doesn't give you a way to do that. That's obvious. It's, it's not coming from inside. And so this was a huge crisis uh, for, for theoretical physics. Now, the reason why Maldacena's uh, results kind of tells you it can't, it's not a problem, even though it doesn't exactly show you how to do it yet. It says that even if I have a universe in a box with black holes that evaporate, whose event horizons get pulled up, physicists running around, oh my God, what happened to the information? They might not be able to solve the problem, but basically one's conclusion is it doesn't exist because I can tell you that's equivalent to a quantum field theory on the boundary of the box that has no gravity, no black holes, no information loss paradox. There is no information lost because these are the same description in different languages. And if you can't lose information on the quantum field theory and the boundary, there's just n pure quantum mechanics, absolute information preserving, then even though I don't understand exactly how to get the information out, it's going to come out. Okay. And so that's when Hawking was like, all right, I capitulate. <laughs> <laughs>